ಶ್ರೀನಗರ್ both the cities were integrated and created the world name Ali Nagar uh, next sixth that the chinese pilgrim arrived at srinagar and was received by durlabha vardha vardhana vardhana the king provided him with 20 clerks to write his work these are all there in the ride the train and five servants to wait on him sri nagari was a great center of buddhist study there was a stupa set to have been built over the two uh, relic of buddha around 920 mer vardhana a minister to the king built in purana adhistana a vishnu temple named mer vardhana swami in 1130 kalhana uh, minister rilhana uh, sorry rilhana rilhana minister to king jaisimha there is my emperor who was the world in new city he also built a shiva temple in the world city named bilhaneshwara right the pandretan became a center yeah, of the pandretan became a center of all important religions like shaivism buddhism vaishnavism and sat uh, around 1400 the turning point in history sultan sikandar started destroying the temples and image and earned the title idol breaker bushika <laughs> he destroyed almost all the temples in kashmir the images were mutilated and thrown around which was achieved by heaping timber over the temples and setting them on fire due to heat they are cracked and fell down in this he employed a hindu convert to islam suhu bhatta and he was very responsible for the destruction record says that gramins were tortured and the temples ruthlessly destroyed the images of vijayeshwara chakradara martanda brihad buddha sureshri and varaha were so destroyed this is the temple oldest temple mm. in srinagar the place is called pandreta mm. this is shiva temple this gives you the architecture how uh, and you see the kashmiri temples uh, uh, architecture history around the big tank and in the center of it you have the temple so it's interesting that you mentioned that if you if you remember amritsar amritsar is same format you you know this comes from the idea that chatu sagara mm-hmm. which appears the booth the guy surrounded by chatu sagara or great portion all around so the central part is jambu jiga mm-hmm. over which is the main room mm-hmm. and over the main room you have to go to the mm-hmm. so if you go to uh, cambodia there was a great temple and uh, so mm-hmm. there you were Angkor Wat yes at Angkor Wat you have got all around great uh, you know uh, 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 moat like thing 700 feet in width and more than 200 feet in depth 
you have to grasp Guru, bring it to Guru's way. And there are three stories over which you have to go to the topmost of Guru, which is called the Mahavir. So they explore that temple at Meru, surrounded by Chatur Sagara. And so always in ancient temple, you see the surrounding water. Also in Shirdavadi temple, you see the so, um, yes, we are going to show you this picture, they are absolutely fascinating. They have been very well restored, yes. preserved by the Arkham in India. Though the Linga uh, has been uh, probably damaged. You see, you have to craft them. Mm. The linga, the linga, yes. The metal linga, and then the kisha, and all with the magic water is Sir, I have a question for you. This is a little, uh, you know, this is a western view of Shiva in the rupam of linga. Uh, they, they have a wrong narrative in my opinion. Could you please explain why this thing is and what is the symbolification of what is the symbolism Jing, of this? Linga means symbol, Kuri. It is a symbolic representation of a god who has neither form or no form. It is called Rupa Arupa. It has no limbs. So it was conceived of as a flaming pillar, it is flaming pillar with the Jyoti. So we call it Jyotir Linga. There are 12 Jyotir Linga, are the most sacred ones. Of which Kashi is one. It's yeah. Yeah. Jyoti. Now, in the yogic Parla, yoga has played a vital role in all aspects of Indian religion. In the uh, what we call it, uh, yoga principle. When you go on to yama, nema, asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana, samadhi, the samadhi level, what you see is uh, uh, illumination, uh, 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 shaft of illumination, which they say is the culmination of your knowledge system. So, that is the Jyoti, Atma Jyoti. So, what you see is not only in this form, but anything can be a Linga. For example, you can have Annam, cooked rice, considered as Linga and Yukuya. You can have flowers, consider them as Linga and worship. You can have a sandal paste as a linga and worship. You can have even sand just uh, put together called a linga. So it is uh, just a formless form without limbs and a circular why. Why this form is important? They were aware that. God has no form. It's beyond form. You imagine whatever, whatever form you imagine, God remains above that. So you cannot restrict him within that frame, within the form. So he is always is formless. Then you have to present him. One of the methods is how to put a sort of like a reflection of a human being or animal. All of these things, they are all the same representation of the same universal principle, universal government. So, any circular form, a shaft, is considered a linga and a distinction. But there are some sect among the Saivas who consider the generative organ is the symbol of creation. 
So that they also worship a particular group of people talk about it. But not all. One linga in the form of a generative argument. There are 99 lingas without that form, and these are all lingas. You see, you can worship Saraswati in a linga, you can worship Parvati in a linga, you can worship Lakshmi in a linga. The Purana says Lakshmi uh, worship, uh, all of them are available in Vedas. So, it is only a symbol to initially initiate you into the study of modern knowledge systems. And that represents essentially the Jyoti illumination, which brightens the universe. That is what it is. So, we have, we have uh, forms, 96 different forms prescribed in Agama Sastra of Lingas, 96 different forms of Lingas, each one of course is a philosophic name. So here is uh, the Linga of Pandretan Temple, Shankaracharya of Kanchi, and Yana, and Linga, and Snape. Then you have an antara. Mm. It's still under worship. Mm. It's Andretan. The world uh, Orion subsequently this has been built and uh, it continues to worship. So now we look at Shir Bhavani We look at Shir Bhavani. It's three names. Shir Bhavani is Raja Rajeshwan, very popular goddess of Kashmir. Hindus of Kashmir are greatly attached to her. According to tradition, she was originally in Sri Lanka and because of Ravana's misdeeds, she requested Hanumanji to move her to Satishtha. That is Kashmir, who brought her here, according to the local legend, Purana, mm -hmm. Stala Purana. The Kashmir Pandit was guided in his dream to come to this place. The place was pointed out by Sharpman, who brought him here, where he found the spring. Mm -hmm. And the uh, present temple was built by King Pratap Singh in 1912. The present Shirdar. She is Radha Rajeshwari who resides in the midst of the spring and said to be surrounded by 360 serpents. He surrounds faith. Mm. Special worship is offered to her on Sukla. Sukla Pakshashtami Day. The eighth day of the night, fourth night. The annual festival of the goddess is held in Jeshta Ashtami when lakhs of people congregate. For this land is disturbed. Mm -hmm. Daily people come visit her in large numbers. The color of the waters of the spring change into green, lemon yellow, orange, and milky white. The water changes in its color. It's very interesting. According to the local, the spring comes as bubbles and forms a chakra mandala. This is chakra. The temple is now under Indian army to maintain beautifully. Milk is a favorite offering to her. So she is also called Ragnya Devi, Royal Temple. There are at least eight most important Sakti temples around in Kashmir. The, those times the central image used to be made of metal. That only in mm -hmm. uh, stone, metal, mulasthana, and gold, silver, or bronze. All the images were mutilated and melted down for second to issue these coins. Mm -hmm. 
Abu, Abu Fazl also wrote about Sikandar's zeal in destroying all religious foundations other than his It's written there. Mm. Western scholars found in the 19th century enormous number of mutilated scholars and lingers lying among the heaps of temples. Alexander Cunningham found large number of destroyed sculpture from the Sankaracharya hill for about five kilometers all around. The sculptures found are now in Pratap Singh Museum. And this is Shirva. Again, water uh, surrounding the deity, Murti. This is a common worship. Pandits were there, reciting, where the Sanskrit, beautiful Sanskrit children. Ninth century, we had Ananda Yardana, Kavyasya Atma Dhani. What is the soul of piety? Suggestion is the soul. And Abhina Murta has a wonderful community. And they were Kashmiris. And that came down. It's all. Abhina Murta's contribution to dance in Bharata Bhaktivinoda has come down within 100 years. His descendants came to Devagiri with the music. And from there they came down to Karnataka. And from Karnataka the music came to the Tamil Nadu. To philosophy, music, dance, it was the center of all this now it's system. So beautiful. Very well maintained by the Indian army. And then you have some of the Kashmir has got some special iconography, Kapila. Mm. Kapila Vishnu, Shiva Vishnu. They are all in marble. Mm. These are all the spiritual type. This is the inner enclosure. It's beautiful, lovely. You feel like saying the black for some time. And the whole history is written down for you. And then we had a puja as worship. I want this song. If somebody says there is no Hindu temple, what are they talking about? Look at that. Under the control of the government of India, archaeological survey destroyed. Some of them are so big, they cannot lift them, so they threw them there itself. And we have a description of it. Okay. Unfortunately, the stone they use, which is available within them, because it's a really reason. It's not a, it's a little porous, it's not mm. so... Uh, Strong, hard, 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 you know, granite stone. Probably when they were made, they were plastered and painted. But all those plastered have gone and then they have come out. Plus, I think uh, they used to disfigure the faces by. It's not possible to with, with so much, you see. It is anchor is big. Okay, okay, okay. okay. The stone. Yeah. Then we have this Martal temple. Now, what a temple. Had they retained that superstructure to the main temple, they had no temple. Mm -hmm. So tall, so big. And uh, Akbar has come to this place. This is one of the oldest to photographs. Mm -hmm. So this, was this destroyed or it just became... It is destroyed, completely destroyed. We have a total destruction, total destruction. 
they try to remove all the stone through rivers to other places. Now some engineers are gone, but they could not remove all the stone. It's only only of the three never you have to have. The superstructure is gone. Yeah. And Valipita. Mm. Exactly what you have in our area, your Western India, Northern India, Southern India, everywhere you have the Valipita. Culture, when we talk of culture, is one. Here it is. That's a, that's a flag mask. Peter. You mean like Vajastamba or? To scatter. You feel shocked. Can any human being think of destroying? Of course, we had Amiyam, great Buddha, and blasted up. Yes. In the 20th century. Yes. The Taliban. Right. The world just stood yeah. and watched. The world just stood and watched. Yeah. And they talked of uh, so much about it. This is going all around. Inclusion. Nakara. Mm -hmm. Can you say that there was no Hinduism in it? What is it? <laughs> Take that lady and show her. Well, she can sit in the comfort of her bedroom and watch this video <laughs> and it will prove to her that, you know, let's hope that she issues the retraction that she was on. Don't, don't disturb. Yes. You mislead the people. It's mysterious. Look at that. They are right in Kashmir. Yes. This is... Still standing in situ. Look at that. Yes, yes. Madness, absolute madness. When I, when, I, when I go to Western countries, I feel like going to every cathedral and seeing some joy. I don't see any difference between might and truth. It's a place of worship. Yeah. So our our temples are all based on certain philosophy, basic philosophy, the layout, the erection, and the culmination have a basic philosophy. So I have I have been to many, many cathedrals in Europe. I have been to Greece, I have been to Rome, I have been to France, Germany. Wherever I go, I go to the you ask them what is the philosophy? They don't know. All that they can say is the class. Beyond that they are not able to say whether there is any philosophy, whether it is continued. Except to say that prior to the advent of Christianity, there was a saint there living by inside of nature was true and he was curing so many people who were there and so that became a center of pilgrimage and it is there the great church as that's what they say. But here, every inch is a philosophy. Yes. Now, this is the prakara. Mm. This is the prakara flow and this is the prakara going around. Whether this is a temple or that is a temple. Right. This is also a temple, this is also a temple. This is a consecrated space. It's not an ordinary space you see here. Right, right. It's a consecrated space. So, any structure, any image, or any consecrated space is a temple. 
where presence of the divine is invoked, right. where I can go and half of it. That is it. It can be a tree, it can be the fact, the linga, they are not able to understand and appreciate. Rupa, Rupa. So you can, a tree, an uh, ant hill, a hollow, uh, it, uh, a natural cave, everything is a temple. Your house itself is a temple. You orient your house in a divine way. Even within the uh, your house, domestic house, you have some rooms, etc. Each one is allotted a particular philosophy. So you try to look at everything as divine. Your mind becomes opened up to the whole universe. So you cannot uh, think of that religion is different, this religion is different. We don't, we don't. Uh, Manu, the lawgiver, says, when you look at the other man and all atmas as you wish, and your atma is there, then you reach a stage of sarva samatva. He gave this knowledge. Sarva samatva, equality of all. And what is sarva samatva? is Parabrahma He completes his work, Dharma, the ancient law. Manu completes his work as Sarva Samatva. He is Parabrahma Tattva. You are right there. So, Indian Hindu system speaks about, not about secularism. In modern secularism, it means connected with the ritual, religious ritual, where there is no religious uh, ritual, that is called secular. But in India now it is where a different meaning, it has a different meaning. We don't, it is an imported word, secularism is an imported word. Our word, for which has been guiding it for nearly 2000 years and more, was Sarva Samatva, equality of all including man and animal. And that is the outlook that great law of it like Manu has said. And the last one he says is Sarva Samatva leads you on to Parabrahma. That is Brahma. That is the country of Brahma. This is the country of Dharma. This is Dharmakshetra. The one word with Every religious sage, saint, others, thinkers, is dharma. And Buddha, dhammam saranam vichyam. Tirthankara, is dharma. We say dharma. But this one word, dharma, is not found in our constitution. <laughs> Very regrettable. Huh? Very regrettable. <laughs> you 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 talk with the imported word without knowing what is the meaning of it. That's not our ethos. That's not built up in the, in the Hindu system. It's, I think it is there in every system. But you throw it away. You take only one, and you ridicule. It's not correct. They are not on the right path. Then it meant. So, how such great structure, you can't even move the stones lying down. And these have been destroyed. You see, all over, these are all destroyed. This is Ganga Yamuna mm. at the entrance to the Gandhagraha. Mm. You have it everywhere. That's why our people say, say this is the form we saw in the Tantan. Yes, yes. This is the form. Right. Also, see, in the uh, Martan temple. 
निचय देते यू मस्ट से सत्यम सत्यवाक्य किंग इज सेट टू बी सत्यवाक्य हु कैन स्पीक ओनली ट्रू हिज वर्ड इज लाइक दैट ऑफ गॉड सो यू कैन नॉट एक्टर राउंडिंग You can say something in the morning, something in the afternoon, something in the evening. You claim you are misquoted. Huh? Claim you are misquoted. Satyam Veda. Dharma Chara. That is dharma. That's what Ashoka says. You don't have respect for your own Ashoka. You don't have respect for your own Buddha. You don't have respect for Tirthankara. You don't have respect for uh, what you call Manu. Right. So the study of uh, what you call uh, anybody who goes there will be shocked to see such, such a destruction. Here is another temple, Avanti Shiva temple. Now tell me, sir, was there that many Hindu temples or not? <laughs> This is where it all started. <laughs> Then it came down south. <laughs> unimaginable, unimaginable destruction, and all these. Uh, this is Avanti Varman, mm. the great Avanti Varman, who made prosperity. portrait and a screen mm. laying over for the ah same temple thing again format this is that that is repeated mm. then we have deshta mata temple another temple which is the living temple here also you have the Mm. The sun, Vedic chanting, Ashmeer Sahibism, derives itself from Vedas. They are reciting different types of sagas. Mm. So uh, this is Ashmeer. And everywhere there are learned men, and the first uh, impact of Pandini's uh, grand, refined grand, is from there. Refined uh, expression, cultured expression, cultured meaning, everything originated from there. It came down through Kashmir down to us, and uh, now. One is supposed to be given out, and they talk about Kashmir um, uh, has nothing to do with those countries, so they are interfering with Kashmir. Who is interfering with Kashmir? Now, I want to know. I want. I want to tell you that it's not I am telling you. This is all in in the writing of the government of India and in the writing in the Rajasthan and all other textbooks, all documented, not myth, not legend. And if in spite of it you have such great history, culture, art, music, dance, philosophy, etc., you don't pay any respect to it. And you talk rubbish about people should be told these are unreliable people. 
let us have human being, all are human beings. Treat man as a man. This man is lower, that man is higher, this man is so what you call a minority, that man is majority. This must all go. Treat man as a man. That is the only method of human that has to be studied and read. What is there in your own scripture? What is there in your temple? What is there in your philosophy? What is there in the ritual? What is the meaning of these rituals? I think we need... Uh, can you think of a country which has such a rich culture now? Which has gone... Not even close. Been rejected. Right. And they talk about uh, all these uh, uh, nonsense And one man says yesterday, forget about the history, don't worry really about past history. Let us think about the future. When you don't talk about Shivaji, why do you talk about Shivaji? Why do you talk about Savarya? Why do you talk about all these uh, great men? We have to forget about these and all that. And after a few days, we must also forget about you. Then every country, inanimate country, every civilized country thinks about its past heritage. There are many things that we used to do centuries that they have come out. And they all wither away during the centuries. But you can't be without a heritage. No country says that I have no heritage. You can't start all of a sudden in 2000 and then say that it is my history. Your thing is rooted in that. You can't protect one man and ridicule the other man. So, you all must go and see what has happened to you. Yes, indeed, and uh, much food for thought. Uh, Dr. Nagaswamy, thank you for sharing your uh, uh, complete uh, experience of the temples of Kashmir. Uh, this is going to be a real eye-opener because we have dealt with it at length. And with now normalcy returning fast to Kashmir, let's hope that the great civilization that it used to be, the cradle of, it restored, it, it gets that past glory and it can can again attain the same kind of simple living and high thinking that came out of that. Thank you very much.